Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the Philips One Blade. Now this is from 39 to 55 pounds in the UK. I picked this one up in Asia and so it was a little bit more expensive. Uh, now this is the newer version. Uh, they used to be the Philips Norlico, but now it's just got Philips One Blade on the box. And this one comes with a nice little hard case as well. Uh, no extra blades. I had to purchase two extra blades as well, but I did get those at a discounted price. So there's the case on there. Now this one unfortunately doesn't have any English writing on it, so I'm just sort of skipping past the different sides of the box there. Now right, let's open it up and have a look. So we're greeted by the case itself and in here right so it must be in the case so in here we've got a charging brick with a two pin charger this is a pr proprietary charging plug unfortunately I thought maybe it was a uh, one of the plugs that you use for all different kinds of things from kettles and stuff but it's not it's its own proprietary cable so that's unfortunate but it does look nice quality so hopefully it will last for many years and in here we have three no we don't we have one what's this this is the this must be the carry the carrying case protector I don't know why it's not on the blade and uh, the blade protector to stop you damaging it in travel. Let's just put some more lights on. Sorry about that, I forgot to put them on. There we go, that's better. Right, so this is the little case for the blade. So I'm, I'll include a picture of that, but I'm guessing that this goes over the blade. There we go and protects the blade. You could also use it if you wanted to take another blade with you so you could put that onto the the new blade to protect that if you took it out of the packet. Right so in here we've got a 50% off voucher for blades again so that's good I can get another two blades with some money off next time and we've also got a little instruction manual very very small let's just zoom in on that as best I can for you okay you can pause and have a look zoom in we've got a safety guide <laughs> a really big safety guide and then a quite small warranty guide so hopefully nothing goes wrong with this now this is a waterproof so you can use it in the shower and in the bath but make sure it's not plugged in. I'm guessing that that's what all of the safety instructions are about. Make sure it's not plugged into the electric when you put it under the water or you will get a shock. Right, so nice hard carry case here. It's got the little Philips logo on there. And it just swings open. Right, so we've got another guard in there. So that's three guards in total. and the Philips one blade. Let's have a closer look at the case. It's got a nice pattern, it feels nice, it's nice and strong. Uh, it's the same sort of thing that you get for a camera, um, like a Osmo Pocket or something like that. It's got a hard case like that. Not completely rigid, but it's protective enough to stop it getting damaged. And it's a very nice looking case has a leather look to it. Right so this is the one blade itself so it's a main body with a battery and then you've got the char uh, the shaving head on the top and as you can see there it's got a little can you see that it's got a little thing to say that it's waterproof for bath and shower so that's really good. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to sit in the bath and have a shave but if I want to, I can. 
Right, so we've got the three guards. They just clip on there. Like so. Ah, so when you clip the guard on, it actually tilts the head, the cutting head, to fit it. I don't know if I'll be able to show you that. I'll try in a second. But it actually tips the head forward so it's at the right angle for each cutting head. Let's try another one. I'll see if I can do it up close so you can see. As you put it on, did you see? It just tilts the head so that it's at the the right cutting length. Right, okay. Right, so this is the pack of blades I picked up as well. There's two in a packet and they say they'll last between three and four months. So with the three blades it should last me for an entire year. I'll open this up as well just so that you can see what you get in the packet. Right, so inside here we've got yet another 50% off the blades. Obviously the blades aren't going to last as long as I want them to. And you've got two blades in there, and they're in their own little packet, like a packet of cheese. Okay. Right, there is a wear indicator on the blade itself. You'll see like a crisscross design, and when that starts to fade out, you need to change the blade. I've only just got it, so I'll probably do a follow-up review video of this. Uh, sorry, a follow-up video on this. When the first blade runs out, just to let you know how I got on. Unboxing knife today was the Leatherman. A nice little knife. I've got this in the C33 and the C X, uh, C33X with the serrated blade as well. Nice little knife, nice and sharp. Easy to open one-handed. Very, very useful for unboxing. Now this is the knife I've used this week. I'll show you some others later on. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.